Hello people and uh, welcome to today's edition of Programming Wizards. Uh, today we are going to see how to add a column containing buttons, okay? Or how to add a button column in a data grid view, okay? Remember data grid views are very flexible, you can add combo box, you can add images, you can add uh, buttons, checkboxes, all of these we've covered in this series of tutorials about data grid view. So you can also check other videos. Otherwise, this is what we are going to talk about. You can see here, um, you can see this column over here, the click me column. If I click, for example, the first one, it tells me, uh, f first row clicked, okay, second row clicked, third row clicked, okay, fourth row clicked, okay. So, this is what we are going to do. Actually, what we are going to see, we are going to see uh, how we can add this column, okay. But we're also going to, if you've not checked out the two, so we're also going to cover these ones, but very fast. But mainly, this is what we're going to do today. So please uh, fire up your IDE. Uh, I'm using uh, Visual Studio 2013. Shift, Control, Shift, N to create new project. Okay. So here is it is. I'm going to name my project... Uh, button column something like that then okay I meet for it today because my computer is not very responsive okay uh, here we have our form we're going to drag a button from the uh, toolbox. No, not a button, a data grid view, I mean. So I'll drag it and have it over there. Okay, let me resize it. So here we have our data grid view. Now, uh, what I'll do, I'll double click the form, it will open for me a blank application. Remember, we're going to start from scratch. So the first thing, we're going to uh, create and call a method known as update. Okay. Now this method, uh, it's what will be updating. Uh, it will update the rows and columns in the data grid view when the form is loaded. Okay. So let me comment. I'm just going to say update dg view to mean update data grid view. then I'm it's a public method public void update now the first thing that we're going to do we're going to add columns okay to do that one the first thing data grid view one okay dot column count we have to set the column the number of columns so say column count equal to uh, we are going to give it three I'm just going to give it three then uh, data grid view one okay dot columns not column count dot columns Okay, so this one uh, actually will return for me an array. I'll pick the first element in the array, uh, pick its name property, and assign it uh, position. Right? Then I'll just copy paste this one and reuse it to save time. I'm going to, this one will be the second element in the array. I'm going to call it team. Then uh, this one will be the third element in the array. I'm going to call it uh, points. Then, so far, by the so far, if I run the app, uh, it will be having the columns but no rows. So uh, let's just add rows. Now, if I come to rows, the first thing that we have to do, uh, let's create an array list that will. Uh, contain uh, our each and every element and this, this array list we'll call it row is equal to new array list okay 
then I'll resolve it so row equal to no row dot add the first thing that we're going obvious is the position which is position one I'll copy paste uh, this one very first assign it position uh, not position but team I'll call it uh, Mon United then uh, the third one uh, the points I'll give it 78 okay then remember we uh, so far we've just con we've just held the elements in the in the array in the array list okay now what we have to do we have to convert this array list to array and then add it to the data grid view because the data grid view uh, rows it expects an array so I'm just going to say uh, data grid view one okay dot rows dot add okay now what we're going to do uh, we're going to add over there an array list no an array so we're going to convert the array uh, the array list to array just by saying row dot to array okay that's what we're going to do that one will add the first row then remember we also have to add the second and probably third rows we want a couple of rows so I'm going to say uh, second row paste over there no second row this one will change to this one this one will change to city this one will change to 77 that one will remain that way I'll copy paste this one again and this one will change to third row this one will change to position 3 and this one will change to Chelsea this one will be 74 ok so so far if I run the app we'll be having the uh, just the, the rows and the columns but now what we want to do remember the main aim of this tutorial was to add the uh, button column ok so let's come comment it here add button column so to add the button column what we're going to do we're going to use the uh, data grid view okay button column okay I'll just call it btn and say is equal to new data grid view button column I'll uh, set it some of its properties for example I'll say btn dot header text okay then I'll call it uh, buttons then I'll come and set its name btn okay dot name I'll, its name I'll set to I'll just call it button okay that is its name property then btn now the text the text is what will be displayed I'll just uh, say click me okay so after click me now what we're going to say we're going to say btn uh, dot use use column text for button value then we're going to say to assign it to true then uh, after that one remember uh, we have to add it uh, that particular uh, column we have to add it to the uh, data grid view columns okay so just say columns dot add then we'll pass over the btn over there okay so right now uh, let's run our simple application and see taking edges oh we have an error let's see 
uh, argument out of range oh okay so uh, what we're going to do uh, we're going to change the column count like you can see you can see the data grid view dot columns this one should not be three this one should be two this uh, error so uh, let's run it and see No, here we have our data grid view. You can see the button columns. So far, if I click, there's nothing happening. So actually, what we want to do, we want something to happen when it is clicked. So what we do, just come to the form one design, then the data grid view, right click it, and choose the properties, here it is. Then come over here, the event section. Now what we are going to do, uh, What we're going to do, we want that when the cell is clicked, okay? So we are going to, here it is, when cell is clicked, data grid view, cell click, right? Now this is what we're going, so what we're going to say, we're going to say if, E dot column index, okay? This is just to get us that particular column that button column actually its index should be two not three that is the error I made that time sorry if e dot column index is equal to two okay no this one will ensure that we'll be having that this third uh, button column okay then come and say message box message box dot show uh, then we're going to say e dot row index actually row index will give us the index of that particular row okay row index then we'll just add one because counting will start from zero so we'll be just adding one e dot row index dot one but remember this is an integer so uh, I'll just convert it to string using the to string method okay then I'll say plus row clicked now uh, very fast let's run our project and see uh, here we have it if I click it not really, not yet. If e dot column index equal to two, should it be two or three? So guys, you can see it. it sh this is the zero, uh, one, two, three. Okay, it should be uh, e dot row index equal. But you can see it works. Uh, if I click the particular button, it gives me that. Uh, okay, it tells me the the the, the row index of that button. Okay. So remember the error that we were making when I put it as true. It was counting from 0, 1, 2, okay? And then this is what it was uh, pointing at, but it should be this one. So that is the 3. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. Uh, please, if you have, uh, you can subscribe to this channel. Uh, you can like this video. You can share. You can comment, okay? Uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Please take care. See you next time.